And in order to design our blog post page, let's go to pages here in the sidebar. And if you look at the bottom of this pages section, you will find the CMS collection pages section. And since we have created one CMS collection so far, there should be one page here, our blog post page template. And that allows us to style the individual page of each blog post. So we create one design once, which is going to be repeated throughout the whole website for every blog post we create. And if we, for example, add an element in here, like a heading, it's dynamically going to be linking up to the blog post itself. So here we choose the title and it's dynamically choosing one of the blog posts we created earlier on. So if I hit now publish to select a domain and then go back, reload our page. And now I select one of those blog posts. Remember where we early on saw a 404 page that the page couldn't be loaded. Let's again hit it. And now we see that dynamically loaded heading and again, a dynamically loaded heading. Let's go about actually designing this page now. So let's first of all, remove this heading again. We won't need that for the moment. And then let's add a navigation bar. Now we just created a repetitive element out of it, which can be found in symbols. So all I have to do is take in drag and drop this navigation bar into the body element. Now you will notice the navigation bar looks almost the same as on our homepage, only that the logo looks off. If you see, this is how we designed it for our homepage. The logo was smaller. The rest is exactly the same. And let me show you why this logo is off. So you see this logo itself is a link. If I click on it, it's going to redirect the user to the home page. So if the user is on a different page, he will get redirected to the home page. Since we are already on the home page, it's just going to reload that page. And if we take a look at the home page and then select the styling of the logo and we apply the styling to this nav logo link. You see the image has no styling itself, but the nav logo link has all the styling, including a width of 180 pixels. And we set some padding of 15 pixels and we gave it a fill position. Now, the reason why these stylings haven't been overtaken is that since we are currently on the page where this link, this nav logo link links to Webflow has added this other class current. So the, the class where we applied all our stylings to is nav logo link. And then additionally, the second class current. Now, since on the blog post page, this link won't be on the current page anymore. So this link will link to a different page. This current logo, this current uh, class is not applied here anymore. So these stylings we did on the home page have been lost. Now that's one of the few, let's say, irks about Webflow. Sometimes it's a bit hard to understand why something is happening. And in this case, all we have to do is reapply the same stylings to this nav logo link, and that should fix it for all our nav bars in the future. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a width of 180 pixels, set the padding to 15 pixels and make sure that the fill is chosen. And then it looks exactly the same as here. And in order to demonstrate this, let's publish this page and then make sure to reload this page. And now what we can do is we can select one of those blog posts and you will see there's no change in this navigation bar. This navigation bar, check the logo. It will look exactly the same as on the home page. 
Now with that fixed, let's go about and adding a hero section to our blog post page. Now, in order to add our hero page or hero section, let's take a section element. And in order for that, I'm going to swap back to the elements tab and then select the section element and just drag and drop it onto the page. Let's give it a class of blog post hero section and set its with 100% and its height. In this case, in the previous uh, section, in the previous page on the homepage, we set it to 100 view height. In this case, I don't think 100% of the page should necessarily be covered. That's only really meant for the starting page. So let's give it a smaller view height of say 80 view height. And then let's make sure that we actually have a background image to display. So in order for that, I'm just going to go to element settings and to choose get background image from blog post. Here we have that one hero image and that's choosing our image. Now let's just make sure that the image is displayed exactly how we want it to be displayed and we want it to cover the hero section. So that should be fine. And let's preview this. There we go. Our first hero image for our blog post is displayed.